With me now is Jim Watson. He is the mayor of Ottawa. Mr. Mayor, so glad you could be with us. What are you bracing for today in what was meant to be a positive day for retailers, for restaurants, for people looking to have a, a sense of normalcy back in their lives, now possibly being confronted with protesters? Yeah, the people of Ottawa have been more than patient, uh, Marcia, with uh, these protesters. As you pointed out, uh, they've really hurt their cause uh, tremendously by going and uh, taking free meals from the Shepherds of Good Hope, a, a soup kitchen for the homeless, um, you know, urinating on the, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, dancing on it, uh, desecrating the Terry Fox uh, monument with placards and so on, and uh, really keeping people up uh, 24 hours a day with honking of horns and diesel engines going and parking in residential areas. Uh, the public are fed up, and my message to the organizers um, and it's very difficult to actually find out who exactly is running this this show, is you've made your point, you've had your speeches, it's time to move on. The very fact that they're now threatening to intimidate uh, retail workers by going in and, and trying to shop without a mask uh, just shows you how out of touch these people are. These are individuals that are trying to make a decent wage, some of them at minimum wage, some of them at fast food restaurants, 17, 18 years old, being harassed by middle-aged, uh, mostly men, uh, threatening them um, because they're not uh, they're, they're being challenged and told to wear a mask it's really quite quite sad on the part of the truckers and it paints them all with the same brush unfortunately most truckers i suspect are very good people the ones that are intimidating our residents and harassing our business people and stealing from a, a soup kitchen are discredit to the to the profession of trucking and uh, again i think uh, they have to move on think of this as your neighborhood would you like this kind of activity garbage strewn all over the street, barbecues illegally held, setting off fireworks, honking horns at all hours. It's really quite a disgraceful behavior on their part. And the leadership should condemn, condemn the fact that uh, people in their, their procession were carrying swastika signs and Confederate flags. Really well, uh, new low. Well, let's talk about that a little bit more because we are going to be hearing from the Prime Minister um, later this morning at 11.15. That's what time he's scheduled to speak. Have you heard from Justin Trudeau? What has he said to you? What would you like him to say today when the whole country is watching? We tried uh, last night uh, to connect and it didn't quite work, so hopefully sometime uh, later today. Um, I think the Prime Minister has taken the right stand in terms of standing up for the mandate. We don't have very few tools in our toolkit to fight COVID-19. One of them is masks and the other is vaccines and the other is social distancing. And uh, all three of these um, are under attack by this group. And um, we have great cooperation from the federal government, the RCMP, the Parliamentary Protective Service, uh, working in collaboration with our, our police. And our police are doing a remarkable job under very difficult circumstances. You can well imagine the frustration they feel uh, with um, this uh, unruly um, cast of characters that have taken over parts of our downtown. And on that note, um, some people want the authorities to go further. Um, they want to see more of the vehicles ticketed. They want to see vehicles towed away. Are police doing all that they can, Mr. Mayor? Well, they did ticket and, and tow some cars that were parked illegally, again, on the sacred ground of the cenotaph. Uh, ultimately, as you know, Marcia, in Canada, uh, politicians cannot direct the police on operational matters. I have full confidence in our chief of police, who gets hourly updates, uh, who can understand best when it's appropriate to move and when it's appropriate not to move into a situation. We don't want to create a situation that uh, becomes worse or, or volatile or dangerous uh, for our citizens uh, here in the nation's capital. How do you feel when you see the city of which you are mayor on national newscasts, uh, really around the world, um, that this story is getting attention and, and this is the Ottawa that people again, around the world are seeing where there are protesters destroying, desecrating our national, our sacred monuments? Well, there's no question it's a sense of anger uh, and frustration that people would actually go and, and dance on the tomb of, a, of the unknown soldier, which, by the way, uh, was guarded by a gentleman named Corporal Cirillo, who was shot and killed on that site uh, defending um, the, the war monument and the, the tomb of the unknown soldier. So there seems to be little appreciation on the part of some of these yahoos for our history and the importance of uh, sacred land that is the war monument. 
I think the vast majority of people who are looking at this from across the country recognize Ottawa is a beautiful city. It's a welcoming city. Um, and it's a tourism capital and, and it's the seat of government. We're proud of all of those attributes. But at the end of the day, when these people come in from their neighborhoods and spew garbage all over the place and defecate and urinate, uh, it really is a discredit to those individuals and not our residents who have put up with an awful lot over the last three days. You know, look at us, the capital, we're used to having protests and large celebrations. But uh, this kind of behavior on the part of um, a small minority uh, is unacceptable. And uh, the leadership should be asked to apologize to the people of Ottawa and tell their members to move on. Now, we are seeing uh, attrition of, of vehicles leavings. I suspect a lot of these people have to go back to work if they're single truck owners. That's their livelihood. Um, so that's a good sign that it will start to thin out. But uh, my view is this should have been a one or two day rally, not a three or a four or five day rally.